This and is see the fish. Don't whoop, pop. Whoop, whoop. Ooh, whoop, nice. I know. Nine. Bring them yep. In. Whoa, no, whoa, 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 whoa. See, that's go. what it is. Look at that. Hook great. Oh, there we go. Oh, here we go. No, see, he's Look at that. He came out in the net. Michael, you're my new hero. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. A little extra reach. Yep, there you Why don't go. You grab your fish out of there, there and go. I'll get the bait out. Beautiful fish. Yeah, that, that's a great one. You know, that's what lead core trolling is all about. Boy, I mean, you get in the right situation, Bill, you can catch a lot of really, really nice fish. Considering the conditions we've had today, it's actually been pretty hot. That's the old. My new favorite bait. Yeah, three in a row. Scatter, a scatter, husky jerk. Yep. Very little, nice. little tulipy pattern. That's what these guys are feeding on out here. We'll get her back down into the depths here. Come on, buddy. Scatter app husky jerk is producing. So that's this that, is the third <laughs> one, Michael. Are you are you gonna change? I am. Well, that, yeah? that, that, I think I've got one more of these little rascals. Well, that ties you, into your replication thing. The bait I'm using wiggles pretty hard. And the bait you have more shimmies, right? Yeah. And it's a different profile, so now the true test will be if I put one of those on. And you start well, catching them. Then, I, then, then, we'll, then, we'll, then I'll be a believer. I'm one of those ones. I'm really easy. As soon as they start, you catch two or three, I immediately <laughs> change color, size, everything. You're so old? <laughs> yeah, immediately. Uh, all right, well, let's, I'm let's, really easy about that. that. I've seen that happen way too many times before in this technique, not only fishing for walleyes, but salmonids. You know, trout, salmon, I mean, it's just amazing on how selective they can be. And not only that, even it changes from, you know, from from day to day, or not day to day, hour to hour within the day. I'm going to try to one-up you and just pull one right out of the package. Oh, yeah? Squeaky clean Oh, no, fresh. there's a whitey in there. Put it, oh, put, 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 put. Do you have another whitey? Absolutely. Oh, oh there he is. Yeah, put him Why up. Why wouldn't I? I? I'd go right for him. Why wouldn't I? Look at yeah. that. He came through. Get her back down. What is it? 171. The right that's, depth. That's I got the right I, bait that's on. That's where I've been at. Maybe I can catch up to you here. For lead core fishing, we've got it sort of rigged in sort of an interesting way. We have a 15-foot piece of fluorocarbon that ties to our scatter wrap husky jerk, to a double uni knot that goes to a little bit of the lead core. We actually cut a little piece of the uh, lead out of it, and there, there's where we make the junction. But when you put this bait out, one thing that's sort of important when you're lead core fishing is really sort of uh, babysitting the line. It's sort of iffy if you don't want to get a backlash with lead core. Then you need a blowtorch to get it off the re reel. Hmm. But if you thumb it right, and I actually turn, take my uh, line, uh, spool tension and turn it up pretty high, and that'll present, prevent any type of real overruns in the line. But you just have to thumb it out. And generally, we're just going to let it out at the general speed that the boat is moving is the way you go about doing it. But it is a little bit of a delicate uh, line to fish with. But it, it is, it's like a big giant sinker is what you're fishing, which, which is really controlling the depth of the bait, no matter what bait you're fishing, whether you're fishing a really small bait like the uh, Shad Dancer or a larger profile bait like a Husky Jerk or a, a, a Tail Dancer. And there's a fish there right got there, one. and oh, I got him easy. on. Oh, Michael! And I got him on. You really like setting down. the hook pretty hard, I didn't you? I just was like, yeah, don't just instinctual. <laughs> there you go. But then I realized enough not to set the You're hook. Like, yeah, <laughs> this is a pretty good one. Yep, I like him. Boy, I'm already sold on your program I know, here. <laughs> see, that's all. It's all about the color. <laughs> I know color can be. I mean, I've just seen it way too many times out here. Sometimes blue, sometimes that uh, pearl descent is unbelievable uh, color. Yeah. It just depends. Well, right now, you know, we're out in the middle of the lake. It's the uh, heat of the summer. We're seeing tulabies surfacing here, young tulabies. So we're guessing the forage out here that they're feeding on is more tulabie based than perch based. I mean, yeah. there's a little bit of everything, but it's like the baits we have on are basically replicating little tulabies. So. Yeah, earlier when we were out fishing up on the rocks up shallow, where you were using the shad dancer, the yep. little shad dancer, and he was out producing me. Perch in, color. In, yeah, but the fish weren't as big, so we moved off to this offshore area, and obviously the size of the fish has increased. Yeah, yeah I might. Um... I'm, w I'm with you with the net. <laughs> there we go. Okay. There you go. Oh, yeah. Now you're oh, yeah, talking. They're a... all the same size. They're all big boys. Come here. Oh, boy. Well, we he's get not... him up to you first. There you go. Oh, there we go, all right. Michael. No, no what, he's, what are you talking about? The I'm old. Sold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it didn't take long. Look at that. I'm, yep. su I'm Rup... such a nice guy. You got him. Look at that. Yep. But it goes to show you the effectiveness of lead core trolling. 
throughout the summer months. It's, it's amazing. It, it really is for catching really big walleyes, no question about it.